<laughs> you are one handsome son of a bitch. Nirod, I am the guardian known as Zordon. Ugh, I know who you are. How many times do I have to tell you I'm not gonna join your crew? I would be caught dead in those ridiculous tights, even though I would look fabulous. Erod, I implore you, a film must be eliminated that even my beloved rangers find incredibly embarrassing. Hmm, I guess there's only one thing left to say. It's busting time! Stronger than before! are plagued by remakes and sequels in a world where big budget movies can still suck in this world we have the blockbuster buster Boys and fangirls, I'm Erod and I'm the Blockbuster Buster. In the late 80s and in the early 90s, animated shows pretty much dominated children's programming, but one live action show changed that forever Power Rangers. Now, just to reiterate, I was not a big Power Rangers fan. I've always been a Ninja Turtles guy. With that said, I did watch Power Rangers on a regular basis. In fact, I watched all the Mighty Morphin seasons and the first movie. But once they went Zeo, I pretty much gave it up. Power Rangers follow the adventures of five teenagers with attitude chosen by an otherworldly being to protect the Earth. We're the planet Sears! No, 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 not them! The Power Rangers disguise themselves in colorful tights and motorcycle helmets. Gotcha, no, not them! The Power Rangers were completely different! They had giant animal mechs that they would combine to form a giant robot! So this show wasn't very original. In fact, 40% of every episode used footage taken from Japanese Sentai shows. Go figure. Believe it or not, but Power Rangers the movie was one of the films that a few of you requested for me to review during the Terrible 10 episode, but I refused. While this film may not be very good, it's also not that horrible, cause it's exactly what it should be, a Power Rangers movie. It's exactly like the show, only slightly improved. The stakes are higher, the costumes look better, and at the end, instead of having a guy in a suit be the Megazord, they opted to use computer animation instead. And yes, this may look like shit to most of you, but when I saw this as a kid, it blew my fucking mind! Now even if you think the Power Rangers the movie's nothing but crap, it's still Oscar-worthy cinema compared to this embarrassing piece of shit! So our movie begins with a group of nondescript villains chasing after a great alien wizard named Larigo. And what the fuck?! He looks like an Ewok had sex with a Teletubby! Is this the best alien that they could come up with? Oh, now look at these guys! They look like outcasts from the planet Spengo! You're welcome! Who designed these characters, Uwe Ball? I heard that. And thus we are reintroduced to our current lineup of Power Rangers. Now, while I was never a big fan, one thing that I did like about the original Rangers is that they all had defined personalities. Jason was a boy scout, Zack was hip, Trini was regal, Kimberly was a valley girl, Billy was geeky, and Tommy, who is the only member of the original team to come back, was one bad motherfucker! Now let's meet the current lineup! Well, there's Adam, whose hair is longer than it used to be, and Kat, who's blonde, and uh, Tanya, who wears yellow all the time, and Rocky, who's... Mentally challenged. What the hell just happened? Can we see that again? Man, I'm so stupid. <laughs> yes, you are. My god, the Warner Brothers were better Power Rangers than you. Right. And thus we meet the villain of this adventure, Divatox, who's got really, really big uh, aspirations to take over the world. They're huge. Divatox explains to her minions that she needs to capture Larigo to- Oh my god, are you kidding me? These are her minions? They 
went from nightmarish baddies like Lord Zed, Goldar, and Rito to this, you know what, I'm not even gonna bother to learn these guys' names. From now on, you're, um, Dildo Head, and you are the Blue Toilet. Meanwhile, the Rangers visit Rocky at the hospital, when they suddenly get an emergency call from Zordon and teleport away. Then, it is suddenly revealed that a little kid named Justin was hiding under Rocky's bed and saw the whole thing. And why does Rocky have a 10-year-old boy under his bed? I don't want to know. The Rangers arrive at the command center to be greeted by Alpha 5. Now, if you want a quick summation to Alpha 5's character, he's exactly like C-3PO, only 50 times prissier and 100 times more annoying. While there, Zordon explains to them that what the shit? Zordon looks like crap! This is the movie! Don't they at least have the budget to match his look from the first movie? Oh come on, look, his lips don't even match! Hide his exact location. Oh come on, guys, let's watch the lip sync. Basically, Diva Tox wants to capture Larigo so she can use his powers to go to a forbidden island and release an evil being named Malagor, so she can use his powers to take over the world. Everybody got that? Go so Zoran sends Cat the Blonde and Tommy the Badass to find Larigo and they- wait, wait, they have a tracking device! If you have a tracking device, couldn't you just teleport to Larigo's location? No. Guys, teleport! No. Just, just go ahead and teleport to where he is, it'll save you a walk! Ah, fuck it. So Cat gets attacked by a snake. But it's okay, Tommy saves her by throwing her off a cliff. Jeez, did you take rescue lessons from Captain Whiny Pants? <laughs> Luckily, Cat actually remembers that she's a fucking Power Ranger and morphs, and what the shit? The water stopped her from morphing? Why? You know what? I would usually be more upset about the lack of exposition in this scene. But luckily, Tommy goes on to save this scene, all the while reminding us why he's the only true Power Ranger in this movie! <laughs> After the big river rapid rescue, Tommy and Cat find Larigo, and he can heal the wounded? So that means that Larigo can heal Rocky, and they can attack Divatox full force! Go ahead, heal him! You know, the poor guy's back is probably killing him. You're not gonna heal him, are you? You are such an asshole. Divatox is not pleased that the Power Rangers interfered with her nefarious plans, so she kidnaps two random divers? Why would the Power Rangers care about two random divers? Do what I say, lights out for oh my god, it's Jason! Jason was the original Red Ranger and one of my all-time favorite characters. I wonder who the second diver is. suddenly remembered why I watched the show as long as I did. Larigo can no longer bear innocence getting hurt in his stead, so he gives himself up. What a simpleton. So after 37 minutes of movie, our heroes finally decide to get off their asses and morph into the Power Rangers, when Zordon suddenly announces that he's giving them new powers and new Zords. Why? What the hell was wrong with their old powers? Oh that's right, I forgot, they weren't waterproof! Ugh, so they finally morph and they're back in spandex? Why? The armored suits from the first movie were awesome! Why go back to the leotards with the visible zipper on the back? First Zordon and now the costumes? <laughs> you know what? Okay, fine. Let's just check out their new Zords. They're cars! They're fucking cars! WTF mofo, they went from giant animal mix to cars! They are extraordinary cars. No! They're just cars! Unknown to the ranger, Sordon actually recruited a new blue ranger to take Rocky's place. Huh, who could it be? Wow. <laughs> nah, come on. Come on, stop, stop, stop. Show me the real blue ranger that's filling in for Rocky. Yeah! Wow, this is fun! Follow me, guys! I'll lead the way! Are you fucking serious?! I thought the criterion for being a Power Ranger was... The of teenagers with attitude. He's too young to have an attitude! He's just a little fucking kid, Zordon! This is your biggest fuck-up since you made Zack the Black Ranger and Trini the Yellow Ranger. Everyone's a little bit late, <sighs> Alright, fuck it. Just teleport to the island so you can fight Divatox and save the day. Whoa. So, let me see if I got this straight. The Power Rangers, who have the technology to teleport anywhere they want in the world, plus they each pilot their own giant flying mech, need to ride on a rickety old boat to get to this island. 
fine, I'll go with it. I'm on a boat! I'm on a boat! I'm on a boat! Everybody look at me, cause I'm sailing on a boat! I'm on a boat! I'm on a boat! I'm on a boat! Take a good hard look at the motherfucking boat! drive on water, why did they drive the cars to the island? Why do I even care? Meanwhile, Diva Tux is worried that she can't handle the rangers, so she decides to call for help. I need your advice. How do I get rid of the Power Rangers? Stop calling me, you crazy bitch! So in the process of resurrecting Malagor, Kimberly and Jason are turned evil. And in one of the few enjoyable scenes in this movie, Kimberly and Jason then proceed to beat the god-living shit out of the Power Rangers! Sometimes Jason's gotta choke a bitch. Kimberly and Jason are changed back to normal thanks to the power of friendship or some bullshit, and the rangers take on Malagor with their new weapons. A sword, a laser bow, a cannon, twin guns, defibrillators? I don't know. And what do their new weapons do? Nothing! Absolutely nothing! Malagor walks away unscathed and in typical Power Rangers fashion grows to Godzilla size. Okay, it's time for the Power Rangers to put their Zords together and form the Turbo Zord. And I promise to be lenient as long as it's not a guy in a suit! And yes, I know that the original Megazord was also a guy in a suit, but at least that one had a cool design. This one looks like a third-rate mascot for a college football team! So Malagor forgets how to fight, the Power Rangers do their one and only signature move, and Malagor's dead. The end. This movie's preposterously powerful putty poop. Whoever decided to make one of the Power Rangers a little kid is a dick! Who's stupid and his big ugly face is as dumb as a butt! That's just the tip of the iceberg. Some of you might want to assume that because this movie introduces the turbo powers, it somehow fits into the continuity of the show. But it doesn't! That's right, the show establishes the turbo powers with its own original story, rendering the necessity for the fans to watch this movie completely inert. Now the producers of this movie were kind enough to include series regulars and fan favorites Bulk and Skull in this movie. And what do they do in the movie? Nothing! Absolutely nothing! They contribute nothing of value to the plot, which is sad because Paul Schreier and Jason Narvi are the unsung heroes of the Power Ranger saga. And the only cast members that I would even care to meet One busted, thousands more to go. I'm Erod, I'm the Blockbuster Buster. No one can ever take them down. The power lies on this. Ay, 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 ay. Go, go, Power Rangers! Go, go, Power Rangers! Go, go, Power Rangers! Check out my website, suckers!